my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and I am a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I am on the WW Blue Plan. Today I have an amazing grocery haul for you. I picked up some new food finds. I shopped at my local Fred Meyer Kroger store and I went to Trader Joe's and let me tell you, pumpkin has sprung at Trader Joe's so stay tuned a little bit later this next week for a Trader Joe's pumpkin haul. I'm so excited, the first one of 2020. Also, you're going to see what I am doing for my meal plan for the week, as well as meal prep. So if you're new to my channel, I do upload a grocery haul every single Saturday, so you don't wanna miss out. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on, that way you're not missing a single video. Check out the description box down below where you're going to find my nutrition and weight loss coaching website. See what I have to offer. I can help you on your healthy lifestyle journey wherever you are in the process. I would love to be there with you every step of the way. So check out my nutrition website in the description box. You're also going to find links, discount codes to my favorite things, and the link to head over and join my public Facebook group, Jen's WW Tribe. We'd love to have you come over and join us there. So check out that description box. Lots of good stuff down there. Give this video a big thumbs up if you love grocery hauls, and let's jump in. So here's this week's grocery haul. I decided to venture back to Fred Meyer, which is a Kroger store. I haven't been there in a long time. And let me tell you, the price difference between that and Walmart is tremendous. I had no idea because I was never really much of a Walmart shopper. You guys, I paid way more at Fred Meyer Kroger than I pay at Walmart. So note to self plus i just didn't have as many good things but i did find a few new food finds which i'm excited to share with you guys and then of course i ventured up to trader joe's grab my produce and all things pumpkin so stay tuned for the first pumpkin haul from trader joe's of 2020 but first let's jump into this week's grocery haul so I grabbed a six pack of Zevia. This was actually on sale for $4.50 instead of $5 at Kroger. The ginger root beer is my absolute favorite. I haven't been drinking pop as much, but it just sounded really good. And I can take a few up to the lake with us this weekend. Speaking of a lake this weekend, I picked up this little four pack of Setter Home Moscato. So these are just little individual bottles. And I thought that that would be better because that way I can really track calories and points a little bit better and know exactly how much I'm drinking. And they'll last because I certainly won't drink all four of these over the weekend and I'll have them for future. So I picked those up and then I grabbed some El Fresco Sweet Apple Chicken Sausage points calories ingredient wise this was the best option at fred meyer i need this for an upcoming dinner recipe i have not had this brand and i cannot find the sam's choice chicken apple at all in my town any longer which completely bums me out i don't know if it's not being carried by walmart anymore or if it's just always sold out but i can't find it so i grabbed this for the recipe this was on sale and i've actually heard about this brand and i've never tried it this is the traditional skyer Icelandic provisions yogurt. So this actually expires here in a couple days, so I'll probably eat it today. But this is yogurt, strawberry flavored. It has really, really good ingredients and 15 grams of protein for only 130 calories. So again, I've never tried this brand, so this is a new food find for me, so I'm excited for that. And then I found this dip, which is also new. I was actually on the hunt for Hope Hummus, and of course, they didn't have any it was completely sold out in fact they hardly had any hummus it must be from labor day still so i found this latera fina spinach and parmesan dip and spread made from greek yogurt so it is only 50 calories per serving it had decent ingredients i want this for those little non-dipper crackers because those things you guys are amazing so if you see those at walmart i'm going to pop a picture in here for you or if at your local store, grab them because they are amazing. But I thought we could dip those in this and veggies for the lake and then for next week since they didn't have hummus. And then I picked this up, which is also new to me. This was on sale. This is the Three Bridges Italian Sausage Ravioli. It has 13 grams of protein per serving, which is pretty darn good for pasta. So I grabbed this so that we can have this maybe as a quick, easy dinner. Literally warm these up top it with some sauce and call it a dinner. So I picked that up. I'm just gonna pop it in my freezer until we actually eat it for dinner. 
And then I restocked my melt butter. It looks like they changed up the packaging. I liked the Miyoko's butter as well, but this one was less expensive, so I picked it up. Another new food find. Now, I have seen this at Target, which, by the way, I do love grocery shopping at Target, too. But this is the Mrs. Jones Baking Company. So this is the same company that I picked up that little cake in a cup that I bought at Target. Again, I'll insert a picture here for you guys. But this is the frosting, and this is vanilla frosting, 100 calorie pack. Okay, sometimes a girl just needs some frosting, and I love frosting. So for me, this is a good decision because it's pre-portioned out. I don't know the points. It'll be here on the screen, but I had to pick it up. It was 99 cents. I'm gonna pop it in my pantry, and when a frosting craving hits, I can control myself with one serving. And then I also picked up a couple of cans of green beans for the dogs, you guys know. And then I restocked kombucha because I went through everything I had last week, which is great. So I picked up two ginger berries. Now the kombucha at Fred Meyer Kroger is really expensive. So I didn't go too crazy, but I grabbed two of the ginger berry. And then I decided to go ahead and pick up the big jug of the ginger aid, just because the bottles were so expensive. Expensive. This was a much more affordable option. That's basically three bottles of kombucha. And then these two bottles of gingerberry makes five bottles. So that will get me through the week. Troy wanted the same sandwiches next week, kind of that Italian BMT. So again, another thing I noticed huge price difference was deli meat. It is much more affordable at Walmart, much, much more affordable. So Again, you guys, don't sleep on Walmart if you don't shop there. Don't be me and shop other places and pay a lot more. Just go to Walmart. Plus, they have an amazing selection. You guys saw all my new food finds last week. It was incredible, which everything was amazing that I picked up. So I did decide to get some more Genoa salami, sliced pepperoni, and this time I did turkey because ham was so expensive. This turkey was actually on sale. So I do a mixture of all three of these meats for his sandwiches for the week. And then I picked up a big can of diced chilies. This is for a crock pot recipe that you guys will see next week in my What I Eat in a Day. And then I've actually never tried these. These are the Lily's Milk Chocolate Style Peanut Butter Cups. But I thought that I would take this up to the lake this weekend because this would make a delicious s'more. And this whole package is only 170 calories. Again, a points will be here on the screen. But I thought for a different option, I didn't buy a Hershey's bar, so I thought I would do this instead, better ingredients, better calories and points, and make my s'more from this. So I'm pretty excited about that. And then I picked up a can of cream of celery soup, which is also for a dinner recipe. I restocked my dried basil because I am completely out of basil. And I do like that they have organic spices that are pretty affordable at Kroger. So I picked that up. Small little jug of whole milk. This is for a recipe. And whatever is left, of course, my husband will drink. Two new to me creamers, which I'm stoked about. Chobani now has a pumpkin spice creamer. I love the sweet cream. I love the vanilla. It's so good. So this is 30 calories per tablespoon. And I can't wait for this because to be honest with you, the coffee mate pumpkin spice is not my favorite. I actually think the sugar-free one is better, but I won't drink the sugar-free one. So I will not be repurchasing the Coffee Mate pumpkin spice. Now the Coffee Mate peppermint mocha, amazing. So I'm hoping this is good so that this can cure my pumpkin spice creamer needs for the season. And then I also saw this, which I generally don't buy the Starbucks creamer, but I saw this non-dairy creamer, almond milk and oat milk and caramel macchiato. So this is 30 calories per tablespoon as well. And I thought this would be just a really good non-dairy creamer option. Again, I've never seen it or bought Starbucks creamer. So I'm pretty darn excited about that couple of big boxes of broth. I needed chicken broth and beef broth for several recipes this next week. I am completely out of rice and I will say that Fred Meyer Kroger is one of the only places that I can actually find organic rice, like organic dry rice. So I picked this up at last forever. This rice is actually really, really good. If you are concerned about having organic non-GMO rice, this is a great option. We loved this bread, you guys. This is probably the best sliced sourdough bread we've ever had. And this is the one from Trader Joe's. So I picked this up again for his sandwiches for the week. 
A new item at Trader Joe's is this organic almond beverage chocolate bar. So I'm gonna bring this to the lake too. So I have some more options. I've got peanut butter, I've got chocolate. I heard on Katie Hespy's channel, if you don't follow her, she does a lot of Trader Joe's hauls. She actually works at Trader Joe's. So check her out over on YouTube. Uh, she has a really good channel and I get a lot of great Trader Joe's ideas from her. But she bought this, taste tested it, and said it was delicious. So I am excited. It's 210 calories for half of the bar. Has pretty darn good ingredients, honestly, and no natural flavor. So, oh yeah, really good ingredients. So I'm excited. She said this is really good, so. I had to go ahead and pick that up. I also grabbed some cheese while I was at Trader Joe's. I've never seen this. This is the light Havarti cheese. So Havarti is really good because it melts really nicely. So this will be good on burgers for the weekend. 60% less fat than traditional cheese. 70 calories a slice. So yeah, I was excited to see that. So I grabbed that and then whatever's left over we can have on sandwiches for the week. I also decided to grab some of the turkey corn dogs because I saw them and it sounded good. It was kind of an impulse purchase, but these will be really good popped into the air fryer for quick, easy lunches, dinners. I know Troy will eat these as well. So I picked that up. Everything else is produce. So I have some shredded carrots for a recipe and salads. Two big bags of the organic shredded green and red cabbage with carrots. I actually need quite a bit of cabbage for a dinner recipe and I thought it'd be nice with the purple and the orange carrots as well. Some broccoli florets for a recipe. I screwed up last week and did not buy any lemons or limes, so I had plain old boring water all week. So I was excited to remember this time to grab a big bag of my organic lemons for water. Blackberries for meal prep, they did not have any organic, so I ended up with just regular, which all berries are on the Dirty Dozen, so I really, really prefer organic, but I'll just make sure I wash these really, really well. So I bought these for a meal prep recipe, a dessert, wait till you guys see meal prep on Monday. A couple of limes for a recipe, and lastly, some organic cremini mushrooms, also for a dinner recipe. So that is this week's grocery haul. I found a few great new food finds, which I'm pretty excited about. And again, I will be vlogging our entire trip this weekend, so you'll see that video, as well as my exciting first pumpkin haul of the season from Trader Joe's. So let's jump into my meal plan and what you will be seeing on Monday for meal prep. So here is this week's meal plan. This is the week of September 12th through the 18th. We're already halfway through September. I feel like it just started. Anyone else with me? For Saturday, we're still at the Airbnb. We're on vacation, so we don't have any dinner planned. Sunday, I'm gonna be making slow cooker chicken carnitas, so you guys will be seeing this recipe in next week's What I Eat In A Day on Wednesday, so stay tuned for that. Monday, I'm gonna do smothered steaks. We still have quite a bit of steaks from ButcherBox in our freezer. I'm still low-key doing the use it up. Uh, really just trying to use up mainly what I have in my freezer when it comes to meats. Tuesday is always a leftovers night because I have jazzercise. Wednesday, I'm doing a one pot pesto dinner. I'm making my life easy on Wednesday. We're gonna throw everything in a pot with pesto because who doesn't love pesto and make that into a dinner. Thursday is a deluxe steak dinner. Again, back to steak in the freezer, but this one sounds really good. It's kind of an all-inclusive meat, potato, veg dinner, so I'm excited for that. And then Friday, we'll do leftovers, just eating up anything extra that we have from meals previously in the week. So now let's take a look at meal prep. So here's the plan for meal prep. You guys will see all of these recipes in Monday's meal prep video, so stay tuned. I'm going to be making a pigs in a blanket pancake bake. Doesn't that sound really, really good? I'm excited for that. Lunches, I'm going to be doing a smoked sausage broccoli pasta. This also sounds really good. And dessert is blackberry cobbler. That's what I bought those fresh blackberries for. I'm feeling cobbler, like it's getting cooler and I'm wanting cobbler, so I'm gonna do that for a dessert. Everything sounds amazing, so stay tuned again on Monday for meal prep. Thank you for joining me on another WW Grocery Haul. We had quite a good haul this week, lots of new food finds, and again, I'm realizing that Walmart is the place to be for groceries. It seems to be a lot more affordable, at least in my area. So let me know down in the comments if you find that Walmart is the least expensive option in your area as well. I like Target too. I feel like Target is pretty good, but let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are for your area. Again, make sure you are subscribed and your bell is turned on so you don't miss a video. Also make sure you're checking out my weight loss and nutrition coaching website 
and the description box down below to find all my favorite things, discount codes, and again, the link to head over and join me over on Facebook. We'd love to have you there. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Have a fantastic Saturday, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Now, tomorrow's video is a super fun one. You don't want to miss out. See you guys next time. Bye.